Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jewelry Bench. Oh, today we're not covering anything about watches or jewelry. We're going to be covering more Blender stuff. I'm going to cover some more Blender 3.0 tips and tricks. So, in today's video, we're going to be covering normals. What are normals and are normals really, really normal? Let's get started. Okay, so when you open up Blender, Blender uh, splash screen will show up and now you can see I'm using 3.0 and let's close that splash screen up and here we have the obligatory cube. So I'm going to start with the cube and go over some of the basics of normals. What are normals? Normals are basically the direction in which faces are facing. So for instance, what's a face if you're wondering? Faces, vertices and edges are the parts that make up any 3D model. So if we come over here, if we actually Let's select our cube. Let's hit tab to go into edit mode. And now you can see we have ed we have vertices here. We have edges here and we have faces here. So you can select these with one, two and three on your keyboard, not the keypad, but the keyboard. And if I come over and I select this face, this face is pointing straight up, not to be confused with the gizmo, which is pointing straight up, but the direction of the face is pointing straight up. How do we know that? Well, we have a little trick that we can use in Blender, and I'm going to show you this. Now, the purpose of normals is that you, you almost always want your normal facing outward. And the reason being, especially if you are like me and you're doing 3D printing, the normals should always be facing outward because your slicer will have issues with your model if the normals are facing in any other direction. How do we test our model to see if the model's faces are pointing outward? Well, there's a very simple trick. I'm going to select A while I'm in edit mode, and I have the model completely highlighted now. So with my model selected, and if I come down here to the overlays drop down arrow, I'm just going to click that little arrow. We're going to go all the way down here to where it says normals. Now here under the normals tab, we have vertices, edges, and faces, and nine times out of 10, you're going to want to work with the faces. So I'm going to click that little button there, and you can see we get this little blue line that protrudes from all directions of our cube. So for instance, if I look at the cube now, you can see these little blue or turquoise lines that are protruding from each face, and those are pointing in the direction of the face. So that is the normal orientation of that particular face. I'm gonna go and leave that turned on, and I'm gonna hit the tab key, go back into object mode. I'm gonna move this over so it's out of our way. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, and I am going to hit Shift A, and we're gonna bring in a new model, and I'm gonna bring in an icosphere. So I'm gonna zoom into the icosphere, I'm gonna hit tab, and now you see when we hit tab on the icosphere, all the little blue lines come from every single face that we have selected here, and it is pointing in the normals direction of that face, or the, the face's orientation. So that's the important thing to remember about how to find this. Now there's another way you can find errors in your mesh, for instance, um, I'm gonna show you a little trick, I'm gonna hit the C key on my keyboard, which is, the the circle select, and I'm gonna select these particular faces. So let's turn, let's turn all of these off, hit C, and I'm gonna select these faces here. And what I'm gonna do now is reverse the normal orientation by hitting Shift N. When I hit Shift N, oops, let's turn off that by clicking the right mouse button. Hit Shift N, and now you see we get this recalculate normals, and if I hit inside, and I click off my model. Now you can see those selected faces that I had. There are no blue lines pointing outward from those faces. Now, the purpose of that is to show you that the normal orientation or position of those faces is pointing inward and not outward. Now, you may wonder, well, what's the difference? If I tab out and go back into object mode, my model looks perfectly fine. If I apply a material to it or a texture, for instance, I'll come down here, we'll add in a color. I'm going to make this green so we can see it. The model still looks fine. If I go into rendered view, it still looks fine. I'm going to come back over to display shaded object, the solid view, and you can see the model looks perfectly fine and we can't tell if there's any errors in this. Well, what would happen if I tried to 3D print this and I brought this into my 3D printer slicing software? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna highlight this model and I'm going to come down to export it. I'm gonna export it as an STL file. So if I hit STL and I'm gonna come over, I've got a little folder on my desktop called Working With Normals. We're gonna come in there. I'm gonna hit select or Selected Objects Only and I'm gonna call this ICO and we'll press export STL 
and now it's saved that as an STL file and it's ready for me to bring into my slicing software. So I'm gonna quick grab my slicing software. I'm using sheet two box for my printers. If I come over and I try to import that object, we'll go to open. I'm gonna go back over here to ICO and I'm gonna double click that to import it. And now there's our model and it doesn't look bad, but for some reason it's got these black faces to it. And what is wrong with that? Well, here's what's wrong with it. The faces are pointing in. And when the slicing software tries to slice this, it'll slice it okay. But if you tried to go ahead and send it out to your printer, you're gonna get erroneous errors in your 3D print because it doesn't know how to model the mesh itself in the slicing software. Now, even though the faces are there, we can sometimes correct it in the slicing software by coming over to the first aid button. And if I hit that and I hit invert normals, sometimes it'll fix it, but otherwise it just orients those the opposite way for all. And then we can do auto repair and you can see under auto repair, it did fix it. However, it does not always work in your, your slicing software. So let's go back to Blender. Now that we're in Blender and we know that we have some erroneous errors in our model, but we just don't know how to find them. Here's another way to find those. We're gonna come back to our overlays template and we're gonna come down here to this section called face orientation. This is gonna do a couple of things to our model. It's gonna change the color. It's gonna change the color into two separate colors, blue and red. So I'm gonna click on this little box here, put a little check mark in it. And you can see the faces that are pointing outward are blue and those are normal. Those are what we were looking for. And the faces that are pointing inward or are that that are oriented in the wrong direction are in red. So I can fix those. I can come over into edit mode to tab. And you can see that when we're in edit mode with the face orientation turned on, we still have a blue and red um, shading to this. So I can come over here, select that. I could press shift N and fix that. Or I can select all of these by holding the shift key down while I'm selecting them. Again, hit shift N and that'll fix them also. So now you can see the little blue lines are pointing back in the right direction and our model has turned to a solid blue, which means all the faces are pointing in the outward direction. If I export this as an STL, I can go ahead and slice it in my slicing software without any issues. In addition to that, if we apply materials, especially textured materials to this model, and we have faces that are oriented in the wrong direction, when we go to render that, it's actually going to give us some funky looking things and it's not gonna come out right. So one thing about normals you should understand is how to figure out which normals are not pointing in the correct direction, how to fix it, and how to work with them. So there's a couple more things on normals I wanna cover before I finish this video, and I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. I'm gonna come back here and turn off face orientation. In addition, I am going to go back into edit mode, select all, and I'm gonna come over to my overlays and turn off the face orientation so we don't see those little blue lines. Okay, so while we're in edit mode, if I grab a face, you can see that the normal is pointing about 45 degrees off to the upper right corner of my screen. And if I hit the E key to extrude, and then Z twice to extrude that along the Z axis, it's gonna go straight up. If I look at this from the side, it's basically just giving us a model um, that has its protrusion going straight up. I'm gonna control Z that a couple times just to get back to normal. And now I'm gonna grab this face here. And what if I want to extrude that pointing in the direction of the face itself? So I want it to come this way. Well, there's a quick way to do this. If we come over here to the, where it says global, we can go over to that and we can come down to normal. And if I hit that, you'll see the gizmo changes. Now the blue arrow, which represents the Z axis, is pointing in the same direction that our face is pointing, very similar to how we check the normals with those little blue lines. Now, if I hit the E key to extrude and then press Z twice, it will extrude out along its normal face only. So that's pretty slick. Now you'll have reasons why you'll need to do this when you're doing modeling. So it's a good thing to know how to work with those normals. If I come back over to global and I hit global and I hit extrude and then ZZ, you can see it's gonna go up. Now, if I hit extrude and then uh, XX, it'll move along the X axis. So you can see it doesn't necessarily work um, when you're in global if you want certain things to happen, but you can just kind of 
you can also just kind of grab these arrows and move them along in any direction you want. But it's always, always a good thing to know which orientation your faces are modeled in so that if you do go into 3D printing, you'll know how to make sure that it gets printed correctly. Otherwise, trust me guys, you'll have some failed prints and you'll hate it. If you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. If uh, you have any comments, leave them in the comments section below. And if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, I've been doing little tips on Blender 3.0. Uh, so check those out. Check the playlist out when you have a chance. Have a great day.